Yo, guys, Urban Bars brings you the best UK reactions to rap, hip hop, and urban music from all around the world. And guys, we're going to go back, way back, back in the days, the days when our man Tupac was doing all the heavy lifting. Guys, I haven't covered Tupac on this channel here at Urban Bars, but I absolutely really respect, love, know all about Tupac, etc, etc. And it's such a big shame because my man Tupac, when he died, Friday the 13th, really? Friday the 13th? Can you believe that? <sighs> he was breaking into films. He'd already made two or three good films. He made a good film, I think, with my man Tim Roth. Wow, he was beginning to become a mega, mega, mega star in more fields than one. But these things happen, guys. These things happen. Don't know why they happen, but they do. So, guys, it's time to check out Picture Me Rolling by our man Tupac, Tupac Shakur. <laughs> Niggas look mad. Y'all supposed to be happy on the street. Y'all niggas look like y'all wanted me to stay in jail. <laughs> oh, great. But you be rolling in my 500 bins. I got no love for these niggas. There's no need to be friends. They got me under surveillance. I swear somebody can tell them. No, this don't be so. But I ain't the one telling So they got him under surveillance. And this was a time when Tupac was going through a lot of problems, a lot of issues. He was blown up with all sorts, getting feuds and getting into arguments and trouble, worries and trouble, left, right and Chelsea people. But obviously then he absolutely felt as well that, you know, he had a mark on his back, he had the crosshairs on his back. So when he says they had him under surveillance, he's not just talking about the police and stuff like that, but also other people in the community. Rah. He was having his own worries and troubles, people. That was just crazy. 500 bits. I got no love for these niggas. There's no need to be friends. They got me under surveillance. I swear somebody can tell them. No, there's no being so. But I ain't the one telling. Don't want to be another number. I got a fucking gang of weed to keep them going under. The federal rally want to see me dead. Niggas put prices on my head. Yeah, that said, he's got another number. He's got a doppelganger. So it's not him that's selling the dope and all the whatever you want to call it, people. He's saying it's someone else. <laughs> but he's marked. He's marked. That's just crazy. But I ain't the one selling, don't want to be another number. I got a fucking gang of weed to keep you going under. The federal rallies want to see me dead. Niggas put prices on my head. Now I got two rock dollars by my bed. I feed them lead. Now I'm released, how will I live? Well, God forgive me for all the dirt a nigga did. To feed kids, one life to live. It's so hard to be positive when niggas shooting at your drink. Mama, I'm still dug in the world. It's a war zone. My homies is inmates, and most of them dead grown. Full grown, follow your man. Seeming on ways to put some greed inside the palms of my empty hand. Just picture me rolling, crossing the beans on rings that ain't stolen. My dreams are sensing, my hopes are torn. I'm like a fiend if I see it on the dope is gone. My nerves are sweat, heart beating in my head is swollen. Thinking of the G's I'll be hoping. Picture me rolling. Easy now. Move to the side a little bit so you can get a clear picture. Can you see it? <laughs> picture me rolling. We caught him sleeping, he didn't beat you next creeping. It's how we do it every weekend, I don't man. I'm going to wheel back a little bit, guys, because the original to this, obviously, this has been cut, etc. It's a shortened version. It had like two other MCs in it. I can't remember their names, guys. You know, I got keys coming from overseas, all that sort of stuff. I can't remember who was doing a rap on that, but yeah, so obviously, this is a shortened version with just the two pack flavor on this, guys. I'm just going to wheel it back. <laughs> it should be rough. We caught him sleeping, he didn't beat you next creeping. It's how we do it every weekend, I dump the man. Tell him I'm counting proper CPO, we got the bomb spot, nigga, time to clock it. Get the liquor, and you can get the female. The screw the shit that we infect and get the street sales. 
So it's a little bit choppy and bumpy on this track. So it's not as smooth as when you hear the original Pitch Me Rolling. So I've not seen this video before, to be honest with you people. But when you hear the original Pitch Me Rolling, it's like five minutes long and it's really just really doing it. Slapper Records, really? <laughs> you know, some motherfuckers out there I just could not forget about. Mm. So this this mix, this this put together is not being put together that well, to be honest with you people. It's not, it doesn't gel as well as the original. Trust me on that, guys. But yeah, it's still there. So it's a sort of homage, homage to our man Tupac. And that was doing it from way, way, way back in the days, guys. And if you can get your hands on this CD, yeah, it's got some good tracks in it. I just have to get my <laughs> the old magnifying glass out because I can't read the lyrics at this minute, you know. Because it is what it is, guys. So on this one, you had things like... Oh, okay, that's cool. Sorry, I forgot some of these tracks. Holler at me was good. Thug Passion. Pitch me rolling. <laughs> All Eyes on Me. I love that track. All Eyes on Me. That's my favourite probably. Shorty. Shorty want to be a thug. You know, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, you get your get your mitts on. Two pack. Yeah. Oh, it's got California Love in this as well. If you like that sort of stuff. After me, I think I preferred the ultramagnetic version, but that is me. That's all I'm about, ultramagnetic people. But that was our man Tupac, and yeah, he was taken too early. So within, so was it a year? A year or so, we lost both Tupac first. Then the next year, we lost Biggie Smalls. So we lost Tupac in September, Friday the 30th of September. Then we lost Biggie Smalls, I think, was it in May the next year? Something like that. Something like that. It was just crazy, people. But... You know, these things happen and they shouldn't happen, but it is part of life. It's part of growing up. And it's part of history. It's part of lessons that we need to learn, guys, that we need to appreciate these people whilst they're still here. Because you never know, you might go to bed and you wake up and the next morning they're not there anymore or they're not here anymore. But that was two pack pitching me rolling. That was a short version. Yeah. A little bit of flavor. So I might drop some more two pack tracks, but I need to be a bit more selective I don't think this one gave as much as it should have done. It was a little bit bumpy and choppy the way it was put together. So I'm not too au fait with that. But I don't know who's this Gunsmoke the Don. I don't know all the ins and outs, whatever. I thought this was an original version, but obviously it doesn't look like it. What does it say? It says two pack pitch me rolling OG music video solo. Right. So obviously this this wasn't the original version. It was some I don't know. I don't know what they did with this, but it is what it is, people. So I hope you enjoyed it anyway. That was our man Tupac pitching me rolling. If you ever get a chance to hear the original, listen to the original. I can't maybe done the original track to this because I don't know where the original sample came from, but I've got it somewhere. And if you get a chance to listen to it and then if you can blend it and mix it in, it's just fantastic. But that was our man Tupac. And that was pitching me rolling here at Urban Bars, guys. I'm going to sign off now because I'm going to go straight to my bed. I am not well. But guys, whatever you get up to, look after yourselves. Look after each other. Make certain you subscribe to my channel here at Urban Bars. We're going to check out some more Tupac. Trust me on that, guys. We're going to check out some more Tupac. But seriously, guys, whatever you get up to, look after yourselves and look after each other. Make certain, guys, more than all of that, that you come back to the next urban bars reaction especially when i feel better and when i feel well because then we'll be firing all four cylinders or eight cylinders or 16 cylinders whatever you want to call it guys we'll be firing but look after yourselves look after each other make certain you come back to the next urban bars reaction guys i'm out